What's going on everybody? Welcome to the image processing with Python. In this video, we will learn about equalization of the histogram. So it is basically the well-known image enhancement technique. It adjusts contrast of the image without loss of any information. So it's histogram equalization means we will definitely need histogram. So if you don't know what is histogram, please watch the previous video where we have implemented it and we are going to use it in this tutorial. So let's first see the math behind the equalization. Then we will actually implement it through code. So suppose you have 8 cross 8 image with 8 gray level 0 to 7 and the histogram of the image is look like this. Now what we'll do, we'll find probability for every gray level. So for the 0, it will be 8 divided by 64 which will equal to 0.13 and we'll repeat this for all gray level. Now it's time to find cumulative probability. So we'll keep first value same as it is and we'll add 0.16 into 0.13 which will turn into 0.29. So the sum of the all probability is 1, means we'll definitely get 1 at the end. Now we'll multiply this CP with total level minus 1. So here we have total 8 levels and the minus 1 will be 7. So we'll multiply each value with 7 and we'll round that value. So, and finally we'll replace the every initial pixel value with final value. So here we have total 80 value pixel. So we'll replace all 80 with 1. I hope you understand it. Please go back and watch again if you didn't. Now let's implement it in code. Okay, so here first import the necessary libraries. Then read the image. So I'm using same flower image as we have used previously. And due to high resolution, we need to resize it. So I'm defining width and the height 800 and 600 pixel respectively. Then I am converting RGB image to binary image using convert color method. And then I am manipulating the contrast and the brightness value. I have increased some contrast and darken the image. So let's visualize it first. So here first I need to uncomment the weight key. Okay. Now let's hit the run button. Here we go. The RGB image and the binary image with increased contrast and decreased brightness. Now let's go back to the code. Now as I've said earlier we need histogram for histogram equalization. So let's use our previous code but first we need some modification in it. So let's first make the function of our histogram algorithm. So say the function name hist and parameter is image and don't forget the colon and make sure that all the code stay under the function. Now change the flower gray to image. We are converting it in general form. Here we need s. So let's cut from the above and paste it under the function. And also we need h. So cut and paste it under function 2. And yeah, don't forget to change image from the flower. And to return the variable, write return h at the end of the code. So let's first test it before using it. So write any variable. Here yeah, I'm writing h equal to hist flower gray so basically i'm calling the function and simply run the code so you can see here it ran smoothly now copy the function part and paste it in our equalization code right here so first let me uncomment the main code part and call the function here so say hist and image name. So here it is flower gray. So for our algorithm, we need to resize the histogram from 256 cross 1 to 1 cross 256. Now let's implement algo same as example we have seen before. So only difference is that we have 256 level. Here in example, we have total 8 gray level. So number of position represent histogram means x array in our code and this column beside the number of pixel represent y array in our code 
So at starting, we are simply storing first element of x in y as we have did in example. Now we will add the first element of y with second element of x, right? Means 8 plus 10 and we will store 18 at the second position in y array. And to find cumulative probability, all the values are divided by 64 because it is 8 cross 8 image. But in our case, we have total pixel equal to 800 cross 600. So we'll divide it by S0 multiply S1 in general form. And finally, all the values will be multiplied with 255. So basically here, total levels 256 minus 1. Same as we have did in example. So you can observe here that we have multiply all CDF column with 7. Now finally, we will replace initial pixel value with final pixel values. So as I said earlier, we will change all the zeros to 1, all the 1s into 2 and the same process will repeat for all the pixels. In code, we are reading every pixel from the image that's why we have used to for loop and y array is of new pixel value. So you can see here in code, we have changed every pixel value in flower gay to value present in y array. Now let's see how our image looks like after equalization. So let's comment it and uncomment the wait key. Now hit the run button. So as you can see that contrast has been increased means more white pixels compared to before now let's observe what might be the change in histogram so let's first close it we'll use matplotlib for plotting so first here say right here plt dot plot hist g we need to make histogram of equalized image for plotting so we'll write hist of equalized image so in our case it's flower gray now simply write plt dot plot equal to draw the graph and plt dot plot to see the graph and uncomment the unnecessary part now simply hit the run button okay, we are not getting it oh it's plt dot show instead plt dot plot so change it Now let's run the code again. So here blue is before the equalization and orange is after. And it's clear that there are more white pixels in equalized histogram. So that's all for today. In the next video, we'll learn about what is difference between histogram equalization and histogram stretching. And we'll also implement the stretching in Python. Also check our same video in MATLAB if you are more comfortable with MATLAB. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and if you have any queries related to Python and MATLAB, mail us or write your problem in comment section. We'll try our best to give you solution. Thank you so much.